Welcome one, welcome all, Level M Diecast, Matchbox, Convoy, good old combination there. This is basically the end of 2023, beginning of 2024 Convoy mix. See, there is still 70th anniversary logos on all of these cards. These have been delayed. Uh, they were pushed back for whatever reason, whether it be production issues or just uh, Mattel being Mattel. Uh, these are essentially kind of sort of straddling two years, so to speak. Uh, this is the very last 70th anniversary deco model to be released, the very last 70th anniversary item um, altogether, which is a little bit sad, a little bit, uh, a little bit, um, you know, bittersweet, I guess you can say. Um, I posted this up on my Instagram. It'll be the last time I get to use hashtag Matchbox 70th anniversary. But uh, this one is brand new. Looks pretty good. This one is 4 of 10. Of course, the cab over and just the regular box trailer. That is the uh, Austin Mini Cooper 65 Mini Cooper. Um, obviously, all new decos for the 70th anniversary. This is the entire mix on the back. The rocket is carry forward. Um, I did pick these up from uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Um, I didn't buy a case like I did the uh, last mix. So uh, I didn't find this Rocket one. So I just put together the three new ones. So I do apologize that uh, Rocket won't be in the mix. But it is a carry forward model. That is not a new deco whatsoever. But we're going to cover all the rest of them. So we'll get the first one open. Which is, uh, like I said, it's a little, a little bittersweet. Knowing that this is the final mix or the final item, I should say, for the Matchbox 70th anniversary, which is, you know, it is what it is. There is the cab over truck. We'll just go ahead and whoop, just put the trailer on there. There we go. Take a look at this guy. Of course, it's premium print for these convoys. Um, these do retail for uh, $8.99 at O'Reilly Auto Parts, which is a little bit high. Um, if you find these at another store, they might be a little bit cheaper. But there is your detail there. It says UK lorry number on there. Uh, maybe 58332. I'm sure there is some significance for that number, but that looks pretty good. Does have the uh, UK flag right there. Looks pretty good. There is some details here. Uh, it's kind of funny because those little white splotches right there is what they consider to be the headlights for this truck. Um, after all, it is a generic. So kind of interesting. Uh, this is a shrunk down version of the original Super Convoys uh, that came out. Um, early 2010s, I want to say, if I remember correctly. So they just took some of those castings and basically shrunk them down. But this one looks pretty good, even though it's a generic, it looks pretty good. There is your box trailer, super, super premium inkjet style printing on there. Absolutely love that. That is all printing on the side. There is no stickers whatsoever. Got a black base on there. Looks pretty good. That is the only bit that's metal right there is what holds on the wheels, but that's okay. S41A is the date code here, so that's a very, very high date code number. The uh, box trailer does not open up, does not have any doors or anything like that. Still looks pretty good. I do like the side skirts on there, although um, they're not really sized appropriately and they should actually flare out a little bit towards the axles, but uh, it's the thought that counts. So it looks pretty good. Still has that gray color. Both sides are the exact same. Just says MBX movers on there. Get that hooked into there with the truck. Just snaps in there as typical. That's what the truck looks like. Full on duty. Comes with a 65 Austin Mini Cooper in silver, which looks good. There is your, um, well, I guess 64. Sorry about that. There is your decals in the back with your 70th anniversary. And it does have the Austin logo there, Austin Cooper. Looks pretty cool. Tell I Deco's done up. I do like the UK flag on the top. That looks very, very good. Good prints for that one. This guy also gets front end prints as well. So got your headlights done in there. You got your turn signals, chrome base. So definitely no uh, expense spared for this particular first convoy. Full premium deco and all that good stuff. Chrome base, all the all the money stuff. So very, very cool. So we'll set him to the side. Poor, poor 70th anniversary. It's it's gone. It's gone. All right, next one up. Eight of ten Ford C900. This was a uh, new casting uh, last year. Uh, debuted in the main line. Does have the ink construction backhoe on there. And then uh, this is a brand spanking new trailer. This is a gravel trailer. Again, this is a shrunk down version from the Super Convoy line. Very cool to get this in ink deco. I much, much would have rather got this in Rannick, but uh, I am super biased towards that. Um, I do, let's see here. Set this down real quick. Get the packaging out of here. 
All right, we'll start with our little mini backhoe here. So this is unfortunately not exclusive. This is not a uh, new version for this pack. We've actually seen this backhoe in ink construction before with the offset wheels and everything. Does have the uh, movable scoop, which doesn't really do much, but move up. It's got good detail in the casting, but uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's a, not a great generic uh, again, but we've already seen this one before. So if you want to build yourself a little ink construction uh, crew, I guess, uh, you can get an extra backhoe for that. We'll get the trailer separated here. So there is the Ford C900. We have, like I said, this debuted in the main line last year, uh, came out in Shell Deco. Uh, we got one this year already. I'm sure we got one last year. Maybe it debuted last year. Maybe, maybe I'm a little bit off here. 2021, so it debuted the year before. So I apologize about that. Debuted in 2022. We've already got the 2023 version, which was in a red color, which looks pretty good. And then now we have this one. This one has full prints as well. Looks good on the front. Like that. Ink construction. I like the fact that we're getting this. I like the fact we're getting it in construction. Um, it's just kind of kind of odd to have like an old school truck uh, for more of a modern uh, construction flair. There is the gravel trailer. I've been uh, eagerly anticipating this one because uh, it's very interesting the way that this is assembled. So this uh, yellow piece here in the middle, this is actually a separate piece um, from the blue uh, lattice work that's around here. So it gets set in here um, and then they just push metal pins in to hold it in. So that is not designed to come out. It does not come out. It is in there. It is designed like that just to have the color break. Um, looks pretty good. There is some wood detailing on the top there. And then taking a look at the base, that is the only metal, just like most trailers. This one, S43A. So this one was two weeks after. And very, very exciting because this one does actually have the belly that does open up, which is really, really cool. That is definitely not something that... Uh, we get too much of with Matchbox, an actual moving part outside of moving parts. Um, but that looks super, super cool. It looks good. They are not connected to each other. Um, most of these belly dumps that have been done by other brands, there's like some teeth in here so that when you pull one open, it just automatically opens the other with it. These are completely separate. You see these are just added on there in separate pieces. You could just pop them off if you wanted to. I do believe that they will hold together pretty good. So if you are wanting to actually play with this, you can. It is called the MBX Hopper Trailer, which I do believe that the um, Super Convoy one was also called that. There is the prints on the back. Pretty nice to have some prints. Got some taillights and stuff. That is metal. That is part of this uh, base piece that goes up. So metal in the back looks pretty good. Helps keep the uh, trailer weighted and helps keep the trailer uh, moving around. It does have fixed landing gear on there. So when the trailer is just sitting there... Um, It'll stay there, but when it's hooked up to the truck, it's very, very close to the ground. I mean, very, very close to the ground, um, but it works. It works, and that looks good. That looks very, very good. Uh, one of the things I always try to test out why we do some of these is uh, see if it'll work with other cabs, which it'll work perfectly with that cab. So we'll snap that one off, set those aside, and then, of course, this guy will work good with that cab as well, although it doesn't look as nice because... The truck's a lot smaller. I think the big old tractor cab looks much better like that. So we'll throw him up there. But the that one's pretty cool. I actually like this one a lot. That's uh it's very, very cool that we get like a realistic trailer for a change uh, in the convoy line. A little bit bummed out that that's not exclusive, but that's okay. All right, moving on to the last one. This one is number two of ten. Uh, this is donning the 70th anniversary style matchbox construction thing they had going on. Uh, did a video about that a little bit ago. Uh, still missing a couple numbers from there, but we were missing 18 and 19, which is 18 and 19 for the Quarry King. So those are two brand new decos. Of course, that is a 100% brand new trailer on there. So we'll get this guy out. Take a look at our Ford Cargo to start with. There it is, unit number 18. Uh, pretty happy that uh, they're still using this casting. I think this casting is still pretty cool. I find it kind of interesting that they put front print on the base, uh, but the casting part got no front print, so you don't get the Ford symbol, which is a little bit of a bummer. 
Um, especially this is supposed to be, you know, 70th anniversary. But it is nice that we got some print on the base. Um, I believe all versions have had print on the base. That's kind of the way that it's been set up. That's probably something from the licensor, which would be Ford. Does have really good detail inside there with the spare tire fixed into the chassis, which looks good. Of course, the black wheels with the yellow ring trim around there for the 70th anniversary deco style. So there is a brand new trailer. Now this trailer, again, like the other trailer, is a shrunk down version of a uh, super convoy trailer of the same style. This is as Matchbox Construction Dumpster. There is a little bit of warning symbol here. It says uh, makes wide turns. Kind of weird to put that there, but it's there. Uh, there's a little bit of yellow print here as well. A little bit of print on the side. There's some fine yellow print. I wish they would have put some uh, red and white in there for like the um, safety reflectings. I think that would have looked much better, but uh, they just put yellow on there. I, I don't see why they couldn't have put some other colors. They're already doing a side pass. There is the details on the back. There is no prints for the back. It does have a opening hatch that is actually riveted in. So that hatch will not come out. It'll stay in there indefinitely. It is a dump trailer and it will dump. So we will go ahead and we will hook this up to our truck. We will move these other ones back just a little bit. So the way that this works is it just goes up. There is uh, friction in there. It's got a click. Might be as high as it goes. I guess that's as high as it goes. One click. So that is definitely nowhere near high enough to dump. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's like a stopper in there to keep it from going even further. So it's got the nice pivot for the kingpin, but um, that's as high as it goes. It does lift the front axle off the ground, so that looks nice. Uh, but even the Super Convoy one went up pretty high. It went up to about 45 degrees. I mean, this one, you're looking at like 20, 25 degree angle. I mean, you're not going to get anything. You can't even get the, the flap to open in the back. But the functionality is there. Um, if you wanted to modify it, you certainly could. It's, it's cool. I'm just happy we get a new trailer. I'm just happy we get a new trailer, and I think this looks pretty good. Taking a look at the base seats, it is just called a dump trailer, as you can see. This MBX dump trailer. Again, the only bits that is metal is around the axle. That's pretty common. I think the scaling looks pretty good in comparison to the cab. I think that looks very, very nice. I like that a lot. And then, of course, we get the Quarry King. Uh, one of the best generic uh, construction vehicles I think they make in the entire lineup. I'm glad they're still using this casting. I wish this would have had the kind of newer, more rounded off-road wheels versus these ones. Not a huge fan of these. This casting looks really good with the other kind of rounded off-road wheels. They've only used that like twice in its whole existence, so it's a little unfortunate. There is the deets on the side. Of course, unit number 19 does say Quarry King. Does lift up and down. That's all it does. But it does something. Could be worse. I still think this is a really good generic, uh, even though it doesn't really do anything. I think this is definitely one of the best uh, con generic construction equipment that they make. So pretty happy that this is the one that is included. Looks pretty good. Good old base deets as always. Of course, it doesn't get anywhere near to dump in there. But you know, as a kid, you would just say, "Oh, I'm gonna blah blah blah," and, you know, because you can lift a you know a hundred ton or thirty ton or however heavy this thing is. And just, you know, just dump it in there and it's perfectly fine. You know, it's kids' imaginations. That's what we do. So there you go. That is the newest Convoy Mix. That one is a little bit bummer, but everything else is exclusive, which looks fantastic. I am a little bit bummed out that we don't get to use the uh, Matchbox 70th Anniversary hashtag anymore because there is nothing else to come out. But uh, I still like it. I still think it's cool. And uh, I'm glad that everything came out as it was supposed to, uh, even though it's just a little bit late. But still, we're still in still 2023. We're still in 2023. So we're going to roll out, though. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Let me know what you think about them convoys. Always love convoys here at Level M. And we're going to roll out to the next video. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you for watching. You guys are awesome, as always. We're going to roll out. Peace.